What is up, y'all? It's your boy UG Trip. Coming back to another reaction video. This one is uh, Gotham Season 4 Jim Gordon vs. Bruce Wayne from DC Entertainment. We are upcoming on the season of superheroes. All of them coming back. Gotham is coming back. Agents of the Shield is coming back. The new Inhumans is coming back. Um, but then we have, of course, the normal, the Flash, the Arrow, the, 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 the uh, Supergirl. And DC Legends of Tomorrow, all of them are coming back, so this is going to be awesome. And while we're at it, let's go ahead and let's look at Gotham Season 4. I'm guessing this is a preview. Jim Gordon versus Bruce Wayne. Gotham is set for some massive changes this fall, with Bruce Wayne finding his crime-fighting calling and Scarecrow unleashing his fear toxin around the city. We've got the cast here to prime the pump for season four. Gotham evolves every season, I'm like too proud to say, um, into a richer, deeper, more complex world. It's one of the things that I'm most proud of on the show is that from where we started to where we are now in season four, and is that the world itself is so much more creative fully realized, um, fully inhabited, um, the relationships are very complicated and, 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 and vastly wildly between sort of friendship and, you know, it's kind of around being an enemy. In the first half of the season this year, Jim Gordon is going to try to loosen Penguin's hold upon him. He does that by forming an alliance with Sophia Falcone, the Crystal Reed is playing, and the two of them work together to basically try to deep down Penguin. At the same time, Bruce Wayne is going to go out there and start operating as a vigilante where the mask and everything, and we'll see him learning the skills that will one day be used as Batman. And then moving forward after that, Jim Gordon will realize that this vigilante is operating out there in Gotham somewhere, and he goes, I'm going to hunt that guy down. And we have Jim Gordon at a mask who's waiting for him to take his head. So at the end of season three, we saw Tabitha without allies. So Butch has died, she thinks Barbara's dead. So at the beginning of season four, sees her forming a new partnership with Selena, um, and just figuring out where that goes. Like, she's teaching her how to use a whip and how to stand up for herself. And she's a little bit in hiding. Um, she's grieving over the loss of Butch. All sorts of things. And then she finds out Barbara's still alive. So this season, the new, our new villains are going to really see Rachel Gould, who we saw at the end of last season. We're going to see a new... They're going to actually see the scarecrow for the first time because we hinted at him in season one. We're also going to be bringing in a new villain, a newish villain from the canon that Grant Morrison um, yeah, introduced in 2007 called Professor Pig who is terrifying. So my character at the beginning of season four, you know, he was, we last see Butch in a coma at the hospital and we find out his real name is Cyrus Gold. Who, and I gotta tell you, I was very surprised how many people really knew who Cyrus Gold was because the social media blew up pretty much right away. Um, what we can now tell you is that officially uh, he will be rising out of the swamp as uh, Solomon yeah. Grundy. So that happens around episode five, I think, in season four. And um, so we, I haven't even shot that yet, but we've been prepping and I've been training and I've been uh, you know, getting the wardrobe and the hair and makeup sorted and because it's a big deal, as, as I know all of your viewers know. Beginning of season four, we find my character dead. So we have to find out where Raz Al-Ghul, Rash al -Ghul comes from. And um, so we explore that. Uh, and uh, so we learn what happened over a thousand years ago and how he arrives on the scene and what his mission is and what he wants to accomplish. Uh, and he has the single mission of tracking down Batman and making him his heir. That's what's around the corner for Gotham, so don't miss the season four premiere on its new night, Thursday, September 21st. Put it in your calendars right now. Plus, you can catch up on all of Gotham's third season on Blu-ray and DVD right now. See you guys tomorrow. Bye. I now have the X1, so... You know, that wasn't, you know, so it wouldn't have been a problem to have, but the man in the past, when I just had the regular one, oh, you know, trying to have, you know, trying to watch wrestling and then have Gotham and Supergirl on at the same damn time and everything like that, and Monday Night Football, you know, you know, you know, during the fall, so it was just, it was just, it was crazy, but yeah, unfortunately now I have to. I have to go to class on a Monday night, so, uh, so, um, but I think for most part, I think what I'm going to do is just, you know, probably, I'll probably, the, the class is going to be kind of easy, something like that, so more than likely than that, I'll just be 
you know, doing what I can for the most part, but most of the time I'm going to be watching the football game. That's really what I'm going to be doing. And everything like that, so, yeah. Um, so, yeah. All right. Are you guys excited as I am about what's going on? Is this? I think this might be the best uh, Gotham season that they have had Com coming up. And Bruce Wayne is now starting to do the, the Batman things, everything like that. And I think that's what you know. I think that's what needs to happen. Is they, is they need? I, 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 to be perfectly honest with you, I think what really what really needs to happen is to a jump in in, in time. You know. A lot of see a lot of a lot of a lot of uh, times have done that, you know, where they jump in in time. A lot of TV shows have done that where they jump in time and then they head up. And I think that's what Gotham needs to do. They need to jump in time to get to the part to where maybe you know he, he's got. A little, I, I don't know what his real age is. You know, I'm, I'm assuming that he's playing he's playing the same age as as he is. I'm guessing. I'm not sure. You know, you know, you never know. You know how the TV is. They, you know, they get you know twenty-three year olds to play, you know, sixteen-year-olds. So you know, I don't know. So I don't know how old, you know, he is. I'm guessing he's, he can't be too old because I'm I'm almost certain that the girl, Catwoman, is 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 is, is at least at the very least a very oldest thirteen, very old. But she 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 she, she does not look like she's you know you know twenty-three. Playing this, so and then they're not gonna put, you know, give someone who's legal, you know, have them kissing, you know, you know, someone who's underage. So, um, so I'm guessing that he's, he's he can't be much older than her. So, um, so I don't know, but I, I would like to see a little bit of a jump. So I like this that they have him doing this. Yeah, I mean, I mean and, and, and and this is their take on it. This is like Smallville. You know, and I think people had some people. Some people had problems with Smallville. I didn't. I I love Smallville, and I'm so upset that it's not back on. It's, it's on Netflix, and really, it's one of the only few. If, if if I were to get Netflix, that would be the only thing I would get Netflix for. I would get Netflix only for to watch Smallville and some of the Marvel stuff. I would not. Get, I don't care about anything else on Netflix. Maybe some of the comedy stuff. But actually, I, I, you know, whatever. So. Um, but anyway, put your comments down below. Tell me what you guys think. Um, like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. And as always, thank you so much for watching. This is your boy AJ Trip signing off. As always, be good to each other, y'all. Be careful out there. And I am out.